this lesson on e tabs in today's lesson we are going to be comparing the difference between a fixed coulomb base and a pinned coulomb base so what we did was that we modeled a coulomb so this is our definition so you can see the concrete strength we used and the reverse strength we used okay and you can also see our section properties you can see the beams to so modify it and check it you can see the depth of 600 and the width of 230 and the concrete strength down here so you can decide to change your concrete strength so i'll choose this select this click ok and i'll come back to coulomb and modify it and also choose a lower concrete strength so i'll select it now you can see the depth of my coulomb is 230 and the width is 230 so i'll click OK. that and the next thing for my slab i'm going to define slab then slab section modify it and you can see it's 150 so i'll choose this concrete strength click ok so we've modeled this here so the width from here let me go to the plan view so you can see the dimension so the width from a to b is four meters and from two to one is four meters so just created the space apart so you can differentiate this now looking at the base we've assigned different supports now you can see the first building is fully fixed and the second structure is fully pinned so we've applied the load now the load on our slab is on both slab for the dead load 3 kilonewton per meter square that is excluding the self weight and the live load is also 3 kilonewton per meter square same thing with the other select it and you can see 3 3 okay so for the beams you select it right click on it go to sorry that's the slab And see the beams so all the beams there are selected as seven that is the load on the beams so you can come to display and let's go to load as time so let's go for now let's go to frame i want to check load you can see it you can see all the load assigned on the beams okay same with that of a shell you go to display load assign let's go to shell let's go to this apply and see three for dead and let for life too also three for life we have no issue with that now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to run the analysis and see what gives us let's go to analyze and run analysis. okay so you can see the wall be meshed already now just from the visual and displacement shape you can see the way the columns are bending now you can see the fixed one it's fully fixed here no rotation here and you can see it's almost almost fixed at the top but there's a little rotation more rotation at this point unlike this one which is buckling in this direction you can see that but the next thing we are going to check now is i'm going to check the bending moment diagrams for the columns here's we we'll combo by using the ultimate so apply okay so but before that let's go to the plan and let's see the beams and plan. so we can see it's almost similar so let's see the difference so let's go to this and let's fill it okay so you can use this and apply good now at this point here we have 56.62 at this point here we have 58 so this is the pinned one and this is the fixed one okay, at this point here now at this point we have 56 also that's why 58 so because it's symmetrical we should get equal um, moments so next we do is to check the, the uh, moments and the moment of the column so we can just choose an elevation let's pick one elevation maybe grid line one and one so we can see the four of them so we can see this now at the bottom here we have negative 4.97 and here too we also have 4.97 at this point we have zero we have zero which is the base so at the top we have 7.0.043 and here we have negative 7.043 at this point we have 6.4 and at this point we have negative 6.4 so we can see that we have a moment here at the base here and for the pinned one we have zero so we've seen that now we can also invariably say that if we fix it so moments from the beam will get transferred to the column which also make the column a little bit heavier 
whilst for the pinned one some moments from the columns will be transferred to the beam so we'll have more bending moments in the beam which is 58 and 56 so we've gotten that already seeing what we need to see we can also check the shear forces to see if we have any issue with that so let's go to axial force and click apply let's see it so at this point we have 57.961 over here we have 57.8 one okay and here we have 57.81 at this point we have negative five we have five and here we have 2.6 so which means this is like half or is invariably not saying that but this is always for the pin the shear force will be lesser than the so next thing we are going to do is we are going to see the reaction it is the same let's go to plan plan and let's go to the base Check it now let's come to the reactions choose your combination so let me pick tabulated arrows the fz at this point we have 115.15 so we can see that all the gravity loads are all equal just depends on how it redistributes the load let's see fy apply you can see fy we have 5.01 5.01 you can see it in this place is bigger here but at this point is lesser at this point because this is pinned and it's fixed let's see fx apply so we have 5.01 5.01 2.67 2.67 2 so you can see what we are saying okay Next thing we want to check now is to check the moment x in the m direction to apply. So at this point we have 4.9 and here we have 0 because for pinned there is always no moment. So let's check the my apply. You can see the my also in this direction. We are done with that. Okay. So let's go to the design. Let's highlight this structure. I highlight the whole structure. We've seen the forces and we've seen that we expect. From what I'm saying, we expect lesser reinforcement on this pinned column and more reinforcement on the fixed column from what we are seeing. And for the beam, we expect lesser reinforcement for the fixed beams and we expect more reinforcement for the pinned beams. Let's come here. That's what you want. You want to use the national annex and set all these other parameters you wish to. Okay then come down here again and i'm changing the framing type so i'm changing it to dc low there's no seismic and that's my time so now let's see so what is saying invariably is that the load is equal to each of them you can see it now select this right click on it or let's choose this use Come to increase the view, select it. Let's go. So you can see at this point here now we have the design good of 110. This is because we picked it at that point of 2.4. So we have 110. And see, it is using nominal reinforcement. So we can see what we are saying nominal reinforcement. You can see the moment design moment minus 6.4 and 7.1. Let me pick another one something that to it you can see the moment here is more yeah, we had minus six and then we have seven so you can see it so we're still providing us with nominal reinforcement that is probably due to the concrete strength we use and the high grade of steel and the load is quite low you can see 110 very low next thing we do is let's see our beams now you can see the beam here now the beam like i said for the fixed one is going to be lesser which is 263 and for the pinned one is 272 you can see invariably now what is telling us that if we fix it they are going to share moment so some moments from the beam will come to the column or if you pin it most moments in the column will go to the beams so you have more moments in the beam so as an engineer the choice is with you for you to determine which one you are going to use if you decide to use fixed one all true then must use fixed all true 
not that once you start constructing go back to style if there's any issue you now go back to change it to paint no changing the design and is generally take out what we do is you select one type one support type to use and you are good to go thank you for watching today's video if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section thank you very much